Alright, this video today is to demonstrate why you should just spend the extra $60, $70 on the milligram scale that's the laboratory certified and just completely avoid these AWS Gemini 20s um, when you're weighing something that needs to be accurate up to the milligram or even 5 milligram these just won't cut it they're good for pretty much anything around the 50 milligram plus or minus disparity but other than that I would not trust them with anything so I've got two scales same model same type um, I'm just gonna use the same batteries for each one just to keep a control I've got 325 milligram aspirin tablets that are coated so they're probably going to weigh a tad more than 325 and I've got a graduated cylinder that's 50 milliliters and some water as a control and each of these scales came with two 10 gram weights which are used for calibration and to make sure that your scale is on point before you weigh a supplement or anything really but especially things you plan on ingesting so first up let's start let's call this scale A and we'll call this one scale B so scale A let's put the batteries in and I'll keep you in mind it's hot as hell in here because I have the air conditioning and fans off to prevent any change in weight from like gusts of air or something similar so like let's start off let's just turn it on and see if it's functioning properly off the bat um, no but that happens with scaling to take the battery out so let's let's calibrate it so I'm gonna hold down the on button for a few seconds till it says cal press it one more time until the 10 gram starts flashing then that tells me it's time to place a 10 gram weight upon the weighing platform and we're gonna wait we're gonna wait we're gonna wait Oh, wait, it's not reading it for some reason. Predictably, sadly. These are brand new scales, mind you, only a week old. Um, I attempted to use them, but to no avail, so we have an error. It's not even picking that up. So let's try one more time, and then we'll just call this one bust. And we'll move on to the next one. Calibration. 10 grams. Place it on there. So yeah, I may, I purchased these strictly to show why not to purchase them, and ironically, got a broken one here, completely broken. So this one bust does not even function. Can't even weigh up its own calibration weight. So let's remove the batteries. And move on to scale B. So this one, um, I've used on a few occasions to test out, although I was assured by many friends at my university that these are terrible scales, so. I just thought an educational video to inform people that these are pretty dangerous would be good considering how popular they are.
I feel like every head shop sells one. Um, it's not even functioning. Neither of them. Calibration. All right. Get our 10 gram weight ready. Boop. All right. Let's see. 20 grams. All right. So now it wants me to add one more to ensure the calibration process. And it passed. So according to the scale, it is ready to go. So it's so reading 20 grams. Which is accurate. Two 10 gram weights. Let's take them off. And let's turn off the scale and turn it back on. Okay. So, let's turn it on. Okay, we're reading zero grams. So, I have my aspirin pill here. Take one, and look, it's already, it's already changing its weight, so. Okay, and it's staying consistent, which is better than usual. Sometimes it goes up and down, but as we can see, it's reading negative. Let's turn it off. Let's use the weighing tray just to make sure. All right, I'll turn it on. Zero grams. Place our tablet. 0 0.025. Let's see. So these are supposed to be 325 milligrams. So that's not right. That can't be correct. So let's remove it. We're gonna tear it again. Let's turn it off, turn it on. 10 gram weight, 0.5. Hmm, that can't be correct. So obviously, this scale does not function either. Now, as you control, you can always Well, we're running out of time, so let's just call it this. Uh, in conclusion, pay the extra 30 bucks, 60 bucks, whatever it is for a real lab scale. Going to your local head shop and buying a scale and then using it for a supplement that needs to be accurate to 5 milligrams is just stupid. And you shouldn't be using this and putting your life on the line for a scale that can't even weigh its own calibration weights so get rid of them throw them away go buy a real scale not these pieces of crap